Hello guys, uh, again, uh, doing video in this format, uh, and again, because the first time I pressed record, I pressed the record, then nothing happened, apparently I've been, been speaking here for like a couple of minutes, not realizing that the camera is not on. Anyways, um, I did a couple of videos in this format, uh, they were a little bit more hated than needed and a little bit more negative, so I decided this is not the approach I want to... I want to do and I want to provide uh, some like a proper information that is kind of useful or just fun video or whatever they will at least try to do so uh, anyways wearing the turtle here uh, and uh, this is uh, what I'm gonna be talking about since they are not new watches back in the day when I did this video for this turtle uh, I did I did told you that this is the first, uh, not the first, but the second turtle that I got uh, and uh, I had issues with the first one. This one that is on my wrist right at the moment is bought from um, a Bulgarian authorized dealer of Seiko, so it's again retail price, a little bit more pricier, yeah. Uh, but of course, uh, when I first uh, started looking at it, I was uh, trying to, to get it a little bit cheaper, of course. Especially here in Europe, where the prices are like, what the hell, you get 20% on top of everything, so it's at least 20% more expensive than what it is in the States. So, anyways, of course, I started browsing online and uh, I was looking at Chrono 24. I found their big seller, uh, at least based on reviews and uh, based on ratings. It was really highly rated with a lot of reviews. More than more than 10,000 if I remember correctly. I will share a link to this seller um, in the video, in, in the info of the video, because uh, I don't think that's something really fishy there. Uh, this cannot be a seller with more than 10,000 positive reviews. I mean, not all of them are positive, but mostly I think it was like something like 4.6 4, 4 or 4.7 rating out of 5. So anyway, so long story short, I ordered the watch, uh, I pay, you see that, oh, it's all secure, uh, Chrono 24, escrow, blah, blah, stuff like that, and you're like, oh, my money are safe, let me just pay with my card, uh, and uh, wait for the watch, I waited for like 5-6 days, something like that, because again, I'm in Bulgaria, I'm not one in one of the big countries in Europe, so shipping is not like that fast. Uh, I, I assume if I were in Germany or somewhere in a, a more Western Europe, I would get it in probably 48 hours. And yeah, uh, the watch comes. Uh, I have a video of the watch. Uh, actually, I'll try to glue it back to this video uh, when I get home. I get the watch and uh, the watch has no stickers. Uh, no stickers at the back, no stickers at the front, uh, no stickers at the clasp. Uh, you know it's, uh, the watch comes not on this bracelet, this is a strap called bracelet, it comes on a rubber, actually it's a silicone strap, blue one. The silicone strap has clear markings uh, that the watch has been worn at a specific place, you know how if a person wears a watch at a certain place, it's the rubber or leather, it, it gets marking on the, around a certain uh, place. So, at first I get a little bit frustrated, uh, second I, I was thinking like, okay, maybe this watch has been returned already and stuff like that, and I tried to convince myself it's okay. I approached uh, the guys from the seller, from, from the representatives from the seller, through the platform, through Chrono24, I asked them, shared some pictures and I said, I mean, come on guys, I mean, the strap is like used or... The watch was spotless, uh, seemed at first. Mm. And they agreed to refund me like 50 euros or something like that for the for me to replace the strap. Although I have already bought a strap called bracelet. The bracelet had come to me like a day before the watch anyway, so I was not planning to wear it on a on a strap. But again, it was weird to receive it like that. When I first set up the watch, I kind of uh, felt something a little bit grindy, grimy when I switched the date, but I didn't put too much thought to it. I was thinking, eh, it's a four-hour movement, nothing that special, probably it happens. But the next day, or it was even the same day, yeah, it was the same day. Uh, first, when I tried putting on this bracelet, I had some trouble locking the spring bars in one of the sides and that's super untypical because drop coat is kind of uh, kind of precisely made and uh, 
usually on these watches, especially, I mean, I know that back in the day there were some issues with some uh, with some watches not extremely nice fitting, but it wasn't fitting like a glove. I mean, I had to really push that thing on, on one of the sides in order to, to make the, the spring bar land where it had to be. Uh, compared to this watch, this watch fit like a glove. It was, I put, I put it there, just a little push and it clicked and that's it. Uh, so, yeah, this is weird situation number one. Then I started, then the, the night came and I was looking at my watch at like pretty much 12 a.m. at night. Dead on. And I realized that the watch is showing the date before 12 o'clock, which is, I mean, it should have already switched the date or, or at least in the process of like waiting for a couple of minutes to pass to, to switch it up. Because, you know, Seiko's 4R36 movement is not the one that uh, uh, instantaneously switches date. Uh, so I pulled out the crown, started moving forward and I realized that actually what is going on, the watch is starting to switch the date at 12 and not at like 10, 30 or 11, what it usually Seiko's do. This will result in change the date between one, uh, between 12 and like 1.30 and then it started to switch the day and it, this whole procedure finishes like, I don't know, like 5 in the morning. And the, the, the way it should be is like from probably from 10, 10.30 p.m. until 2, 2 or 3 ish a.m. tops. So clearly this watch had been opened and clearly the hands were not positioned properly because this is the reason for this happening. And here things start to connect like uh, bracelet not fitting correctly, uh, date switching at the wrong place, the strap is clearly used, the back of the watch was showing manufacturing based on the serial number uh, year 2020 and I ordered the watch in 2023 and this is like what the hell this is a three years old watch. So I connected, contacted those guys once again the next day. They wanted for me to show, and this was I think it was on Friday. So I started messaging them on Saturday. They asked for videos to provide information how how the date is. This is why I have a video of the date and uh, of the serial number of the watch. Uh, this is happening in July 2023. Uh, so yeah, some time has passed. So my memory is not really great, but yeah. I decided not to make a video right then because I was really affected by this. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, it took about five days back and forth messaging, emailing and stuff like that. I've con I have contacted also Chrono24 support, which was not helpful, helpful at all. They are, you know how when you receive something faulty on Amazon, you just message them and they're like, okay, here's the label, just return that shit, we are refunding you, sorry bro. Uh, this is not the case here. Uh, they first tried to freaking mediate. What's there to mediate, dude? Do you see the fucking pictures? Uh, you see pictures of watch, it's clear, clear markings. You see a video of a watch that uh, switches the date to the wrong place. And the watch is uh, uh, marked as new, which clearly is not the case. Uh, so basically that listing is fake. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, this all, only on this ground I should have, because they state that your money is in the escrow bank account and you, they are here for 30 days, you can um, ask for refund and stuff like that. So I had to wait and had to go back to the uh, to UPS. With my watch, the watch was shipped to me with the UPS. They asked me to ship it for my cost. It turns out that from Bulgaria, as a as just a person trying to ship something back to Germany, I had to pay something like 100, 110 euro. Um, I started argument arguing there that I want a label to return it, like you know, free label, tracking number, whatever they gave you, and you, you go with that to the shipping company and they ship it to you. After a couple of days, or at least a day, asking about this and explaining myself why it's why I don't want to ship it for my expense because it's too expensive. They gave me the label. This one is from DHL. I, I contacted DHL, waited uh, a day for DHL courier to come to me, ship it back to Germany to some place, which is a random place in some random town in Germany. I don't remember where it was, but I remember that the, the DHL courier there couldn't find the address. 
there was no phone number provided. Uh, no, there was a phone number, but they couldn't contact anybody. I mean, it's a mess. I wait a couple more days for somebody from this uh, representative of this seller to go get the watch and then had to wait three days for the watch to be expected, uh, inspected, which is another crazy thing. And this is like more than 10 days have passed. I have paid more, a little bit more than 500 euros and I'm sitting on my ass here waiting to see if I'm gonna freaking get my money back because I got some, I was scared because when I put the bracelet of course there are some, a little bit, some, some small scratches and uh, in the looks, you know how it happens, so I was like, what if the guys say something about this and yeah, I mean, it can be easily polished, but nobody said anything, which is great and four days afterwards my refund was uh, uh, approved and I think I got my money like a day afterwards, but this is like, I think it took a little bit, a little bit less than two weeks for me to, from receiving the watch to, to returning the watch to uh, getting my money back. Getting my money back was probably about two weeks. So what I'm trying to say is, be very careful with this shit, guys, because. I will not be ordering anything from Chrono24 because I had to call them like two or three times and uh, I gotta say uh, they were not reassuring at all. Uh, nobody said anything like... Uh, I mean, no, nothing reassuring. They were basically asking me, okay, just be calm, wait a little bit, it's okay, it's fine. Uh, the seller is gonna inspect your watch. Oh yeah, no problem. They will return the, we will return the money. We just gotta wait for. I mean, yes, I understand that this is cheap watch based on what listings they are there, and I presumably some people are buying like really expensive shit there. But I've, after this has happened to me, I have had some issues. Uh, some some issues. I I have read about some issues on Reddit and other places where sellers get screwed, somebody, somebody is getting a Rolex and saying uh, in the reviews and the requesting the feedback and saying that they send him, oh, um, sorry, send him an empty box and shit like that, like $30,000, I mean this is the other way around, this is a seller getting screwed, but like, what kind of bullshit is this? Uh, not being able to send something verified its condition prior accepting and this is not this is not a great way for example here locally we do have uh, two main courier uh, or expedition companies these guys uh, you can ship anything it uh, it has an option for the for the guy who receives this to verify its condition uh, check and test it before buying. Uh, this is done at the, at the courier office. You can go there, just go check the watch, verify and inspect it. If you don't like it, you don't receive it. Just pay shipping back and be done with it. Uh, but anyways, I don't. I understand that this is complicated to be done in an international basis. But Chrono 24, boy, for, for me that's a huge X, man. I'm not. I'm crossing that one out. And if I buy online. Go Amazon, go eBay, or whatever. Uh, and if you're buying a really expensive watch, just like if it's not local to you, get your ass on a plane and go buy that freaking like twenty dollar, twenty thousand dollar Rolex from the next country because I mean it's actually retarded. Like you, you go to order like something that expensive. No, just get on the plane. It will cost you like. I don't know, thousand to go there, spend the night, do it like a little weekend vacation. Uh, but please don't go on Chrono 24 and order something expensive. I mean, I wouldn't buy even something cheap from them. I have completely no trust. So yeah, uh, this is what I wanted to communicate. I'm starting to ramble right now. Uh, let do let me know uh, what you think about this format of the video. Uh, I will again. I will try to link. Um, I will try to glue when I get home the uh, little two-minute video of um, of this uh, faulty or a Franken watch, which, which might have been this fucking crappy Seiko that they sent me. And I will put a link to the seller with advice not to buy from them. Uh, but anyways, um, let me know what you think about this format. Uh, in, uh, yeah, I will continue to try to 
have some ideas for something to record because although I work with English, this whole idea for this channel was for me to force myself to speak uh, out the top of my head, so this is why I my videos are unscripted and I don't... I barely even plan what I'm gonna talk about, so uh, this is how I force myself to not be like, uh, mm, and uh, stumble and rumble a lot, and now I do make it a little bit more complicated while I'm driving. So, and there's a situation here because some moron was doing a left turn on a place where it's just not a lot to do, so... Uh, and uh, yeah, anyways, that's it guys, uh, let me know what you think, uh, subscribe, I'll subscribe, hate, uh, whatever bros, uh, and yeah, goodbye. Hello, uh, just while I'm doing this, I'll just uh, provide you some information that this video is, uh, it's a private link on YouTube, so nobody can see it unless you share the link, so you can see that I already put it on a strap code bracelet, so... Yeah, I bought it with the same at the same time that I ordered the watch, so I wanted to embrace it. But anyways, as you know, the the strap I'll show the strap also. But okay, let's just pull out the crown and start moving forward. Now you can see that nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. Nothing is happening. It's twelve o'clock. Nothing is happening. Start engaging right now. So it's going further, 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 further. 115, 120, 125. Now goes to 6. It's 2 a.m. And now it only now starts to work with the uh, with the day wheel. And it takes up to 5 a.m. to change the day. There's something wrong with this watch. I'm not sure what, what the hell it is, but th this is not... I mean, it's crazy. Uh, Let me try to screw this and just to clarify that we're talking about the, the same watch you can see the the serial number 0N2186 just for reference this is a Seiko 5 with 7 to with 7S26 I mean okay this is not relevant this is the same movement this is a 4R35 pull out the crown Take the date, starts engaging at around 10 and already switched a little bit before 12. That's how it should be. Thank you for your time.